Hello, my crafty friends. Hope everyone's having a very nice day. Um, I know you guys have already seen one haul already, and, and uh, here I am going to doing another haul. Like I said, I was so good for four weeks, and th this past weekend I have been rotten. I mean, really, really bad rotten. Um, I went to the thrift store today. Um, of course, it was a different thrift store. It wasn't my favorite thrift store. It was the Goodwill store. And I went to... Um, uh, Target, because I had a $25 gift card, I made some online purchases, and they arrived this weekend, and then I went to, um, Joann's, and I went to Tuesday morning, so I just had myself kind of like a spending spree today, and I was really bad. I also got a card, um, I'm, I'm the first thing I'm going to do is show my online orders. I got a card from Mona, and it was a really beautiful Valentine's card, and it was actually the only card that I got for uh, Valentine's. So thank you so very much, Mona. Um, it really meant a lot to me. Um, my mom usually gives me something for Valentine's, but this year she forgot, and um, I, I don't know. I just didn't have a good Valentine's, so I just, that's all I got to say. But anyway, this is um, the card that she made me, and it was really beautiful, and I will cherish this card forever. I really will. Um, thank you so very much, Mona. It is just gorgeous. She made, like, little hearts out of book paper and then put the little love and joy and then the little um, tags there. Um, banners there and then some little tool inside the hearts and then she put this real pretty rose paper and then she wrote me a very sweet little note in the inside so thank you so much Mona it's beautiful and I will like I said I will cherish it and then um, I made an order through Rosella um, most of you know her as Zender Lee um, if you go to Zender Lee's channel um, Z-E-N-D-E-R-L-E-E -E -E, um, she has some appliques that she is a wedding dress she's getting ready to sell and she's got some appliques or did have some appliques in her store this weekend and um, I don't have her store name by hand but I do have the um, she's got it listed in her uh, one of her listings in her uh, video I'm losing it all of a sudden I just lost the flower where did it go Okay, where did it go? It's around here somewhere. Okay, anyway, I placed an order with her, and she sent me the most beautiful postcard of where she is from. She's from uh, Washington, the state of Washington, and um, this is uh, um, the Stuart Westermoreland uh, Seattle Center Waterfront. And it's the fairy, and she wrote me the sweetest little um, note on the back. And this is the postcard that she sent me. And I never thought about this, but a lot of us are always sending racks, but we never send postcards. And that might be something new that we could start doing. Um, I'm going to see if I can't find some postcards for my state to send, you know, on my rack. So people will get like a little... Um, incentive and then she sent me extras um i placed an order with her i'm one where i just go ahead and pm her because i'm always late and it never fails i'm always late and i don't ever get the 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 appliques on time so i just go ahead and i'll, I'll email her and uh, ask her what she has left over and i'll tell her about how much i'm you know interested in buying and um then she'll 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 place my order and she'll send it to me. So that's the best way. But I have some somewhere a flower has fallen somewhere. I don't know where it went to. Um, there was three flowers and, and a, I'm missing one. I got so much stuff over here right now. But um, she sent me this cute little pack of, of clothespins from Michaels. And I have not seen these before. And they got the little heart, crocheted hearts on them. You can put little uh, little tiny rows here and... Just, you know, really decorate these so pretty. And they are so gorgeous. So, thank you so much, Rosella. And she sent me, um, there's a, a, a dark rose shabby flower that looks like this. And then there's a, a like a, kind of like an orangish peach. And I'm missing one of the roses. It's somewhere over here, but I, I you know, I'll show it to you. And um, inside that, she sent me this real pretty applique, which I thought was beautiful. 
And then she sent me this homemade tulle flower. And oh my gosh, this is so, so soft and gorgeous. And I am going to make me some of these. I don't know if she made it or not. But if she did, it is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at this tulle flower. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh, it is just beautiful, beautiful. And there's a stick pin right there on the inside. And she did like a, um, like put, put a braid like this, I guess, to, so the stick pin would stay in. And I just, I just love it. Thank you so much, Rosella. This is so beautiful. And, um, along with that, uh, when she, she tied up the, uh, applique in this real pretty peach ribbon. Kind of like an avocado. And I think she's got some of this in her store. And it's really, really beautiful. And it, I've got some peach ribbon or a cream ribbon that I can run through this. So thank you for the ribbon. And this is the applique that she sent me. I bought um, the hem part. And I, I love buying the hem because I can actually cut and, and work with it and do other things, you know. Um, Rosella knows that I do a lot of work with wedding appliques. I'm addicted to the wedding appliques and I use them for a lot of my projects. So when she has, you know, when I get running low, I, I run to Rosella for, um, her appliques and there's like, you know, another strand of it. And, um, these are really beautiful. These are just so beautiful. The, the hem is gorgeous. Look at, look at the pearls and the sequins. Isn't that just gorgeous? It is so, so beautiful. And um, she sent me quite a bit of it. Um, like I said, I told her how much I was interested in buying. And uh, this is what I got from it. And I'll be able to use use it for many projects. Um, so this will go a long ways with me for a while. But um, if I see something that I like of hers, I automatically order. Okay, there's the rose. It's kind of like a purplish rose. And that went with that. And then she sent me some of this really beautiful blue ribbon. And oh my gosh, I love, love, love this. It's a small piece, but it's enough for a project. I'm, I probably can make a flower from it. Or uh, put it on one of my um, lace lace things. And then, um, many of y'all know Olga Oshinko. Uh, she um, started her own business this year. And uh, she came out with the Little Blue Button Stamp Company by CC, CC Designs, and uh, she had a sale going on, and uh, she was offering um, a certain stamps, that, uh, a certain percentage off, and I went into uh, her store and saw that they were reasonable in my price range, and I bought the little uh, little girl with the kitty cat. I thought she's so stinking cute, and then I bought the... Um, Little Miss Lily on the bike. So, so I got one for Christmas, one for like Easter. And then there's the uh, Miss Lily crafting. So she is cute, cute, cute. And then um, the Ragdoll Sweetheart skating. Um, that would be good for Valentine's, Christmas, um, the winter weather. And then there's the Ragdoll uh, Sweetheart on Boots. So I bought like um, five stamps from um, from her. And there was, uh, I guess in another designer in the, the site, there was some glossy accents. So I bought a small bottle of the glossy accents because I haven't had a chance to go to Hobby Lobby. And that's the only place I could find it. Then... I went into joannes.com and they had a sale going on on the Prima stuff and I really I mean I just I didn't really want to spend a lot of money cuz I had already spent quite a bit um on those uh storage things and I bought um I'm not really crazy over all these Prima dolls. Some of them are just too gaudy for me and I just don't really like them. But there's certain ones that, that I like, so I'm not going to be collecting the whole entire set, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, some people want to collect the whole set, and I just, you know, I don't want to waste my money if I know I'm not going to use it. And, but anyway, I found this, I've been wanting this one with the long dress, and uh, she was on sale, so I grabbed her. And then there was the um, Tim Holtz Distress th thing. I have not had one. I finally went out and bought one. And then they had this gorgeous, gorgeous, stampendous um, postcard uh, 
stamp, which I fell in love with. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. It's of a train, and I want to make some postcards this uh, week, so I'm going to be playing around with that. And then they had Prima stamps on sale, but and they were like a dollar fourteen or something like that. And I wish I would have gotten them all, but I had, had like I said, I had other things that I was buying. And um, but anyway, I got the the brick wall clear stamp one. And then I bought some Top Boss uh, embossing stamp pad. I've got all my inks and stuff, and I don't have any, any embossing stuff. And I've got embossing powders, the heat gun, and I just have not been had um, never got the embossing stamp pad. So now I have a, an embossing stamp pad. So I bought that. So anyway, that was uh, my online purchase haul. So I had a doctor's appointment today, and. Uh, as many of y'all know, um, my niece had her baby uh, Friday um, afternoon. Uh, she kind of had a rough time. She almost came close to having to, having to have a C-section. The baby weighed 8 pounds and so many ounces, but I mean, he was almost close to 9 pounds. But my uh, niece was on steroids, and... Um, she it it made the baby gain weight so cuz we're 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 not used to having 9 pound babies or 8 pound babies most of our babies are 6 pounds under and uh so it was a shocker and he's he, he he's a good size he's cute as he can be he's really precious he's got a set of lungs though boy does he sound loud but anyway um she's doing okay and she got discharged this morning from the hospital and she got to go home and um, the, the rest of the family now is taking over. So uh, my sister had to be out of town, though, yesterday. She had to leave and go back out of town. So that was just killing her because she had to go back out of town. But um, my brother-in-law and um, my nephew are keeping, uh, you know, an eye on her. Uh, I think my nephew's staying with her over her house now until she gets on her feet a little bit better, so they're, I'm, I'm done with babysitting. Thank God! Yay! <laughs> I, I don't think I can handle it anymore, and besides, my lupus is acting up. Yeah, I woke up this morning in bad shape. So, I, um, I'm having to, I'm going to have to rest this week. I mean, really, really rest. It's been in remission, and I cannot afford to, um, get myself any worse. But anyway, I stopped by. I had a twenty-five dollar gift card, and I've been to Target before. That the, you know that was after Christmas, and they didn't have anything. And I was like so disappointed because I had this twenty-five dollar gift card, and I wanted to spend it. But I'm glad I saved it now because um, I went through that dollar rack that everybody's been going through. I didn't really see too much that I wanted, but I did find some things that I was like really, really tickled over. Unfortunately, I did not find, um, uh, I saw Tammy as this crafter. Tammy, it's your fault. You're the main reason why I did this. <laughs> and I didn't get to find any of the jar, jar jewelry, darn it. But anyway, um, they had these blue glass jars, and my craft room is going to be in the baby blues and the, uh, kind of like a cobalt blue and baby blue or cream colors. And they had they had these blue glass jars, and they were three dollars. So I bought one set for because um, I'm going to try to alter these. And I bought a second set of jars, and then I bought I think it was like six jars all together. Um, I'm I'm going to be doing a, a bunch of jar altering, or either I'm going to do a challenge one. Um, because I need glass jars desperately, and um, I want to show off my beads and stuff, and not have them in that drawer. So I bought uh, three sets, and that was like nine dollars. And then um, my my um, my Target had these paper bags, the white paper bags, like Tammy got, and that was a dollar. And then they had these little smaller uh, craft bags; they were six count, and, and uh, that was a dollar. And then they had um, some of this trim. Uh, let me see here. Oh, no, no. I bought four sets of the uh, glass jars. So I bought eight of them. So I have eight of the glass jars in the blues. And um, let's see. There was these burlap uh, bags. Uh, there was I bought two of them. That's what they look like here. So I bought two of those. 
And um, then I bought, um, th they had a black one. They were the chalkboard coasters. They had one in black and they had one in uh, blue. I decided not to get the black one, but I did get the blue one. So I bought one of those. And then they had um, some scotch tape. So I bought some scotch tape. I always, always used scotch tape. And um, like I said, I just, I'm not really a Target shopper, to be honest with you. And, not too crazy of the, uh, the Target merchandise. I never have been here in my town. So I don't very very seldom shop there. They had one of these muslin bags. I bought that. That was a dollar. So um, I found some things to alter, like ba the bag-wise. And then they had, um, I don't know if I bought two. I think I just bought only one. They had the glass jar, um, like Tammy bought, um, that, that had the cork to it, and that was this one here. So I bought only one of those. Um, I didn't see any sense in buying a whole bunch because I already you know, bought these glass jars. They had this um, real pretty four yards of... Um, no, it's one yard. I thought it was four yards. One yard of, and it was a dollar, of this trim, which was kind of pretty. And so I bought one of those, and... Um, then they had these uh, little ribbon things, um, like you know Michaels gets, and I, I it, this was in the gold. It was uh, four different styles, and I don't know how many yards it is on each one, two yards total. So it's a half a yard each, but that's what it looks like, and it's in the gold. So I bought one of those, and um, they had these really really cute tags, I mean banners, and these are like place flags or page flags 30 sheets each and they're in like the blues I and mean, the pinks and the blues and they're little banners so I figured I could use them on like some cards or something and oh my gosh these are so stinking cute I mean I, I wanted I wished I would have bought two sets but I said nah they're the cutest adorable little girls gloves and they look like this they're so tiny aren't they cute but I I got them for a project and I also, they had this little um, tote bag, like an Easter, little Easter purse for a little girl. But um, I, I re actually altered one of these before and um, used it for altering. And it's like a little white purse like this. And I paid a dollar for that. So that was my um, Target haul. So then I left Target and went across the street and hit um let's see here went across the street and hit where's the bag i'm crammed over here you guys i mean literally crammed you wouldn't believe all the stuff i have over here <laughs> i went crazy i was bad yes i was and i don't care you know I don't care what anybody thinks. I was bad. I enjoyed it. I had fun. It's my life. I love it. And as long as I'm having fun and living, that's my life. You know You know what I'm saying. Anyway, I stopped by Tuesday morning. And uh, my Tuesday morning really isn't that... Um, I, mean, it, I mean, it had the same things like T Tammy had shown. And Tammy, you instigated this. You started it. But um, they had they had some things there. Um, uh, they did have like this uh, Max Tacky adhesive, and it was, it was by Aileen's, and it was a dollar ninety nine. So I grabbed some of that, Tammy. Yes, you got me uh, um, enabled. And then there was this one pack of Tacky line run line running from Aileen's, you know, for like your cards and stuff. And it was a dollar ninety nine. So I got that at Tuesday morning. Yes, Tammy, you started it. And then they had these uh, metallic markers, American Crafts, and they're like pink, um, and the pink, the lavender, the blue, the gold, and the silver, and they were $3.99, and I got a pack of those. I'm going to try them out on my cards. And... The only thing I noticed now, I don't know what Tammy. Um, she might have. They. She might not have gotten these, but um, I mean, I could have gotten more colors. But I just didn't see no sense in me buying like color after color after color. Um, I didn't see myself buying it all. But they had some turquoise um, multi-surface surface chalk ink and uh, turquoise gem, 
and that's what that one looked like and it was $2.99 and then they had the um, pretty petunia which is kind of like a lavender color which is this one here and um, then they had the uh, Versamark uh, and the Magnolia Bud. It's just kind of like a yellowish color. It's, it's opaque. Um, it was for $2.99. And I uh, got that that one there. So I bought three of those. And then they had the, the Mambi Sheets. Um, this is new. Um, it was originally $19.99. I got it for $5.99. And... Um, it's it's kind of like it's glitter foil uh, UV coating foil uh, glitter UV coating UV coating uh, foil. It's four different colors and um, it's really beautiful. Oh my gosh, this is really gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Um, I don't know if I could show it that way or not. Um, it does have uh, now this one is not. It's only one sided. It's got a lot of pinks. It's got a lot of, like, orange colors, so I can use that for, like, Halloween. Uh, foiled orange, and, you know, then it's got, like, purple, lavender, blue, kind of like an aqua green, and then there's that uh, raunchy. <laughs> I hate that green. I can't stand it. Oh, my gosh, that is the nastiest green. I, it just... It's a pukey green. I'm sorry. I just don't like that green. Now, that that's pretty, but, um, like, you know, and that one's okay, I guess, but I'm just not that green. I mean, it's just, ick. But anyway, I bought that, and uh, that's what I got from Tuesday morning. And then, Tammy, this is your fault. I'm blaming you on this instigation thing. Or enabling... I decided to stop by Joann's and see if I could find some of that paper that Tammy had. Because I loved it. And also, there's some Susan Wingett um, designer paper. And I don't know if I got... There, there, she had, there was two different kinds. And I can't remember. I'm going to have to look and see. Because I did buy some Susan Wingett paper before. But she's got another one that's out. And I hope I didn't get the duplicate. But anyway, this was on clearance for $7 and something. It's the Punch Around the Page and by Martha Stewart. And that was on the clearance for $7 and something. So I got a deal on that one. Because it is originally, it was originally, I think, $29 and something. And I got it for like 7 So I got a nice punch. that. Um, so I got a good deal on that. And also, this one here... It, it was like $29 or something, and I got it for $5 or something. And it's also uh, the punch all over the page, and it's it's in this design here. And I didn't have any of these. And these were, you know, the, the expensive ones that you don't ever get because they're just too high. And uh, so I got a deal on that. So that was great that I went to Joann's today. I also bought me some more floral stick pens because I do go through these quite a bit. So I got that, and then I found that paper. Oh my gosh, the, the Tim Holtz Ideology paper stash that Tammy got. It is, oh my gosh, it's called the Wallflower. This paper is to die for. I mean, I can't really show it all to you, but you, I, I can just give you an idea. Look at the bird nest. Oh my gosh, look at that. It is lovely. I, I see why Tammy fell in love with it. And it is double-sided, but I think um, on the other side, it's like more like a beigey look or something. See how it's got that on the other side? So it does have like, um, it is, you know, designs on each side. So you can use either one. But I just, I see a lot of cutouts, and I see a lot of projects with this paper. And I am definitely going to be using this paper um, this week. I'm not going to let it go. It's got birds in there. And the birds are just, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Anyway, I hope you can see this real good. And it's 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 got, like you said, it's got the ATC card size, the 6x6. Six six, and, you know, you can make tiles out of it. Just all kinds of yummy goodness from this paper. And I just fell in love with this paper. Um, I didn't have my coupon, so I had to pay regular price for it. But, oh, well, it was well worth it. I mean, I just, you know, 
like I really needed more paper, you know, you know me, like I really needed it, but anyway, there was some Susan Wing and paper there, and I think, I, I hope I don't have the, du the, the duplicate, but there, there was two kinds, and I think I got the other kind, I'm going to have to check, by Kane Company, but this is, it's in the blues, oh my gosh, look at this paper, it's gorgeous, ah, it is lovely, lovely, lovely. I hate when they put that stuff on the sides. It drives me insane. Let me see if I can get it off. Um, I can't. I, I've got to show this to you guys. I really do. This paper is just too, too die for. I got, oh, I got there's my scissors. Yes, 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 yes. I hope the scissors will cut without cutting my paper. I love, love, love this paper. I'm just hoping I didn't get the duplicate, because I do have the Suzette Wing it, but I think I've got the one that has the, the opening on the ends. It's kind of like a pink and greeny color. This one is, it's, it's gorgeous. It is just to die for, and um, I'm hoping it's not the duplicate, but look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And, I mean, it's just like, look at this page. This is just too, to die for. It is gorgeous. And it's double-sided, so look at that pink. Isn't that pretty? And then there's, you got like three or four pages of that. And then there's this one, and it is just beautiful. And then it's like a, kind of like a yellow, and I, yellow I do like. And um, then there's this one here, which is really, really beautiful. And on that side is blue, and I liked it because I had the blue, and I'm into the blues. And, um, I mean, actually, I like the pink and the blues, but I'm trying to find... But the only thing I hate, hate, is every pad you ever open up has got to have that nasty green color. I hate that green. But, um, anyway, I'll figure out something to do with it. But isn't that beautiful? And then, like, there's some more pink, so, you know. But I'll make some paper beads or something out of that green. That's pretty, too. And look at that one. Isn't that gorgeous? This is just beautiful. And then there's, like, handwriting here. And this one here, and then there's like um, that one there, I, the, li the lilacs and stuff. Some more blue. Um, this one here, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Then there's some more pink. And then there's like this real pretty yellow one, and look at that. That, that is just beautiful. And then under on the other side is that ugly green. I can't stand that green. <laughs> It's all, it's just about in every paper pad I find. I hate that green. But but you know, um I'll figure out, you know, a project. That's pretty right there and that's really beautiful. And I think this is a different Susan Wing it. I, I really do. I think it's her, her newest version. So Tammy, there is another version of, of um Susan Wing Susan Wing it. Just letting you know, um, to keep your Joann's eye open for Joann's. Um, there's butterflies, so I really love this paper, and I, I'm hoping this is not the duplicate, because if it is, I'm going to take it back and get the one that is not duplicate, but anyway, as you can see, my pile's getting bigger, it's getting really way up there, and I decided to stop by my thrift store, and I found three bubble, blue bubble depression glass uh, plates, um, these are not the uh, coffee, I mean the, the coffee mugs, but these are like the bread plates. And look at these, aren't these pretty? And they're in the blue, um, definitely blue. And you don't find blue, that, that blue depression gla glasses is hard to find. They were 99 cents each. Um, they are well worth it because I know the, the price of depression glass. So I bought three of those. And then, um, I'm going to have to move this back, y'all. Sorry my video so long. I found this sweater, and it's it doesn't even look like it's been worn. I don't see any signs of wearing. It's hand crocheted, though, and it's like this, real pretty. It's really, really beautiful. It's got some really pretty doilies right here, but um, it's also got some real pretty, pretty trim, but it's a hot pinky color. I don't know if I'm going to cut this up or if I'm going to wear it because I really do like the way it looks. And I like the color, so I bought that. And that was $3 and um, $3.49, I think. Yeah, 
And then they had this, um, it was a nightgown. Of course, I, I, I think it has been worn. I mean, but it don't look like it has been. It, it's in really good condition. It's one of these, like, robe-type nightgowns. I love wearing these in the summertime because, I mean, I get, I'm hot-natured. So, um, I paid, I think, two forty nine for that. And then I found these, um, brand new blue jeans. Brand spanking new, have never been worn. And it's, uh, the, the, it looks like this. It's got the belt. I'm not too crazy over the belt. And it's called Bongo, but I love the, um, on the side there, it's got like this, uh, little pattern there. And yeah, they are stretch jeans. Um, I do wear stretch jeans in the summertime and the fall, and I really like those. And I mean, for the price, I mean, I, these were three forty nine, dollars and I, you know, brand new. They've just never been worn, and I love my stretch jeans. And then I found this pair here. Um, it does, I'm pretty sure these, these were worn because there was a tag, their tag, um, their boot cut um, stretch jeans, and... Um, but they're in good shape. They're really in good shape. And I don't think t anybody's really worn them much. Probably outgrew them or something. But um, there was that pair there. So I bought those. And they were th $3.49 each. And then I found um, this. Um, it's a name brand too. It's uh, Hunter's Club. The Hunt Club. And it's a sweater in burgundy. And it does not look like it has been worn. I, I don't, if anybody has worn it, it doesn't look like it. Look at that. It's a very nice burgundy uh, cable sweater. And the Hunt Club is very expensive brand um, of sweater. So, and that was a good deal. That was like $3.49. Um, I found this really pretty pink blouse. It needs to be ironed, though. Um, it got wrinkled when they um, put it in. It's, uh, it looks like this right here. It's really pretty. Um, I love the pinks in it, and I thought that was a neat looking piece. Of course, I have to wash it and iron it, so, um, so it can be wear, you know, wearable. Um, let me see. I was just checking. It looked like it might have, might have had a rip, but it, no, it's not ripped. Okay. It's just the way it's, it's, um, folded. Okay. I was wanting to get ready to say, darn, I'm, um, messed up. Then they had this pair of uh, uh, beige capris um, that look like this right here, and um, got the little things. They were three forty nine. I, everything I bought was forty three dollars um, from the thrift store. I found some knit color knit pant capris and like like this and the knit material it looks like never been worn. So like I said. Three forty-three dollars bought me all these clothes. I found some Dockers, and Dockers are very expensive uh, brand name brand, and that's what these look like. And they're in the look like um, they're capris, real pretty pink color, and that's the main reason I got this because it matched that. And um, then there was this kind of like a pale peach color, and these are. Um, Steve and Berries. I don't, don't think they're really a, um, a name brand. I'm not really sure, but they do look really um, nice and comfortable. And this is what they look like. So I bought all of those, and I found my um, beaded sequin dress. Um, you know how I, I, Linda collects these things. I swear I love them. Some I use for crafting, and some I use. Um, they're made in India. They're 100% silk. They have a polyester lining. Um, you're supposed to professional dry clean, dip in petroleum solvent, um, maximum minimum extraction, air dry, do not tumble, press with cool dry iron, inside out, no steam. I usually hand wash these and uh, hang up to dry. I, I do not... Um, uh, uh, but these are really beautiful, and uh, you don't find these too much anymore. They're very hard to find, and when you do find them, um, they're expensive. Very expensive, brand new. If you buy them brand brand new. And uh, these dresses are very, very expensive to buy today. And they are coming back in style, actually. Uh, some of the girls are actually wearing the sequins. Um, if you noticed at the girl, the uh, music awards, uh, they were wearing these uh, sequin dresses. 
So, um, my little collection is back in style. But, um, as you can see, I did, um, did some damage. Yes, I did some damage, but, um, I had a good time today. I needed to get out. I had a ball. Big, big haul. Loved it. See you guys later. Love y'all. Bye-bye.